Okay, the very last practice code challenge. And go ahead and practice with code challenge four. I didn't give you an opportunity to really do that because I feel like I'm running out of time here. So code challenge number five, change the season. Okay, now this is a little lengthy for those of you who uh, don't like typing. This one might be a little bit long for you. Okay, so create a local variable named season. Okay, so we're going to say var season. Okay, and I'm going to just go ahead and assign it. So I really like fall. Okay, now create a switch statement. So a switch statement is kind of like an if statement. Okay, now an if statement would be something like if season equals fall, then output, brr, it's cold outside. Okay, something like that. Um, and then maybe you have another one. If season equals summer, maybe you output a message that says, have fun at the beach. Or if season equals winter, you know, hey, let's go sledding. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, having all these if statements can get ugly and then it has to evaluate every single one of them. A switch statement gives gives it a little bit a little bit quicker uh, analysis here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we're going to write switch and then in parentheses we're going to put the name of the variable. So we're going to switch season, right? And then, so this is all about syntax, making sure that you follow the syntax and you can access your books or you can Google JavaScript switch statement example to get this. So you're going to do case. So case, so if, this is basically our if statement, if it's fall, colon, we're going to write to the screen, document write, um, Time to rake the leaves. Okay, and then, very important, we're going to include the word break. And that means, I found a match, let's exit this. We don't, we don't care about anything else because we found, you know, we found our, our case. Okay, and then we're going to do case winter. And we're going to do the same exact thing here. Document.write. Uh, let's go sledding. Okay, and don't forget the break. Case summer. Oh, wait, I should probably say spring. Let's do some sort of logical order. Document.write. Um, watch the flowers bloom. Break. And case summer document out right let's go to the beach break now let's say for some strange reason we didn't have one of these four like let's say someone wrote autumn okay or you know somehow we got a new season that is different than the four that we've created. What we can do is we can we can and we should include a default. And so this is if it doesn't match anything else, we can say we don't have your season, sorry. And a semicolon. Okay, and we make sure that we have our curly bracket at the end. Okay, so we've got var season full. And we've got our switch statement. So let's see what happens. Let's save this. I've got so much stuff on my page now. I don't even know where this is going to show up. So let's see. Oh, there we go. Time to rake the leaves. Okay, so that's because I had set it to fall. So I want you to go change this to your favorite season. If it's fall, pick something else. So let's say summer and test it. You always want to test your code. Let's go to the beach. Okay, now why don't we try autumn? And 
there we go we don't have your season sorry so we've tried it for just about every case you know you can try it for spring and uh, winter just to make sure that those all work properly so why don't you go ahead and push pause and just make um, the changes so you meet the code challenge where you change this to a suggested outfit I mean you can keep the same exact thing time to rake the leaves and then maybe um, you should you know we should wear a a jacket or something <laughs> you know winter make sure to bundle up with a hat and gloves you know something like that just add to it and then test your code okay so that is our code with me activity for this week um, yes, it is a lot to take in. No, I don't expect you to know how to do this overnight. Uh, but these are the types of things that you need to do to practice and get comfortable with the different aspects of JavaScript. So we will continue working on this, but, um, please do this activity and you will, uh, have much better, uh, understanding of these concepts by working with them. Thanks. Bye.